Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Facebook come from? Where individuals started in garages, where ideas were born, do not grow with a view that something can't be done and so should not be done. How many times have you heard people say, this can't be done? It's your job to remove those myths and to get things done. Learn and listen, because your whole world is going to be learning and listening. Your success is going to be your humility. In many ways, we have been critical of and saddened by what has or has not happened in our country. To a great extent, this has been a function of we can't do this or it can't be done or vested interest saying it shouldn't be done. Ethical practices being thrown to the wind and, and subjective issues being brought to the table. You in the years ahead are going to be leaders of this country and shaping the destiny of this country. Do not let, a, do not grow with a view that something can't be done and so should not be done. Let me just take a minute and you look at the world around you. Is the, are the great successes the large companies of this world? And there are many and many successful companies. Or are they the companies that took chances where individuals started in garages, where ideas were born? Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Google, where did Facebook come from. They came from ideas that people felt something could be done and that they could make a difference. So as you go out into this world, I would hope that you A would look at being ethical and holding the value systems which you want this country to have. If you think you cannot make a difference, I'd say you very well can make a difference if you so desire. That you are humble as you look forward. If you, if you speak or sit next to a Nobel laureate, he never tells you that he won a Nobel Prize. Other people tell you. So let humility be your, your best defense. And I would say that you always need to take a view that you have had the privilege of a good education. You need to get, give back to society some of the learning you have done to do something for your country and for society. And you shouldn't merely consider yourself successful based on the prosperity you gain for yourself, but you should go home at night feeling satisfied if you have made a difference. That difference is something each one of us can make. We'll have, we'll have failures and we've had frustrations, but it's a continued commitment that we have to the world around us, to ourselves and to the people of India. This is the time that you have used your innovativeness and your creativity and your diligence to complete a curriculum. Your real learning starts now as you go into the real world. The tools have been given to you, the experience and exposure has been given to you. But what you make in life is what you do after you graduate. There will be thousands of occasions when you have to make difficult decisions 
you need to at all times ask yourself if you are doing the right thing and take the decision that's the right thing however difficult or unpopular that may be and think of yourself as being one of the more fortunate people in in this world and that there are millions who are less fortunate and don't ever forget that because you need to look at your life as one where you can make a difference so i wish you well and i am very envious of you coming out into the india of today and tomorrow which is going to be a great country play your role and hopefully many of you will be leaders in the in the india of tomorrow congratulations again Thank you.